What's up guys? So again another mechanical mod and I believe this is gonna follow up the Sentinel mod. I'm gonna upload it at once. Um, this is a much awaited for the uh, Stingray. This is in copper. And this is a clone. Um, <clears throat> the voltage drop on the Stingray mechanical mod is freaking amazing. Let me see if I can find a video. Wow, see so this one even better. Um, that's freaking amazing. 4.07 and with power load. 4.12, so what is that, a point, point 0.5 voltage drop, right? Point zero 0.05 voltage drop, so that's immense. Okay, so you can tell that the voltage drop 0 0.05 volts is uh, freaking amazing. It is a tomb coil, but still, um, you do get under, you get about 0.1 to 1.15 voltage drop on a 1 ohm coil, um, which is outstanding. The, the conductivity on this is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> let's kind of go through it, go over it a little bit, I guess. I just want to get this out of the way because I'm not going to use this mod. Uh, this is one of those mods I'm not going to use. Um, the center pin, it is free floating, so it does self adjust. Let's go ahead and take out one of my most recent atomizers, and um, definitely a very, very good atomizer in my opinion. Probably one of my favorites when it goes to flavor. So it does self adjust, although it is kind of free floating in its own way. Um, <clears throat> so this mechanical mod is kind of a a smash as far as the switch goes. When we look at mechanicals, we have to look at the switch and the top cap because that's the only thing that differs between mechanical mod and mechanical mod for the majority, for at least the functionality of it. <clears throat> so again, this is self adjusting, so you just pop it on. And how you get rid of the battery rattle in this is you just screw it till it tightens, like such, and then you're done. It's going to pop off. Let me just go ahead and wet this quick a little. Okay. So the Stingray has incredible conductivity. Why don't I use it? Well, it's quite simple. Um, it kicks really good. It hits hard, so to say. I don't know what people would relatively say. But the switch is not great. I don't like the switch. It does kick incredibly hard. This is a 0.5 ohm coil um, with limited airflow because it is a Origins, which I freaking love. I love this because of the flavor production, really. The flavor production is fantastic. It performs. The thing is, this is a magnet switch. Every once in a while, this thing will get kind of crunchy, like right here. I can't press it. And even if I do press it down hard here, it won't fire. I have to go directly in the middle, and then it will fire. Okay, that's kind of my first negative on it. As far as like uh, conductivity goes, a uh, freaking amazing. This is probably one of my hardest hitting mods, or the mods that have the least amount of voltage drop. But if, it, if that switch was just a little better. Definitely would use this a lot more often. Um, copper mods tend to perform very well. The bottom switch. The bottom half of this switch is like a nemesis. And the top half of the switch is like a magneto. Very interesting how they set this up. So the battery will fall off the bottom. So... I mean, it is quite different from Magneto or Nemesis, but what it is is there's a pin under this Derlin insulator that is magnetized, and there's a pin right here, and this is also magnetized, and this creates that um, that repulsion. So the bottom portion of this is exactly like a Nemesis. It even has a little pin that doesn't make it move. Um, the top part of this, how this is set up, is like a Magneto. 
which is great. I don't mind Nemesis switches, and I really like the Magneto switch. But when you put it together, just something about it just doesn't. It's not my cup of tea. Um, it doesn't perform quite as well as I want to. I did polish this out already. It just doesn't. It's, it's good. I got it working. I got it working to the point where I can't really complain. But it's just not my cup of tea as far as um as far as how it functions. Performance is outstanding. Definitely, definitely an outstanding performance. It is drying up my wig incredibly quickly. Again, this is a Origins atomizer, so there is um, a juice well in there that looks that takes up a hefty amount of juice. I don't want to tilt it because I did fill the juice well, so. But a very comparable mod to this, which I think which has a better switch, would be this Panzer. Now it's really not fair to compare authentic, oh well, no, it's the same thing, you compare authentic to clones, it's the same crap, it's just a tube. But um, this pretty much has about the same voltage drop as the Stingray does. Not quite, this is 0 0.07 voltage drop as far as that's 0 0.05, so it's not much of a difference. But the switch on this is just freaking amazing. So, this is a 0.3 on coil, by the way, and this is a 0.5. <clears throat> so you will see a vapor production difference. But as far as performance goes, it does perform very comparable to each other, very about similar. The Stingray is all the rage right now. Everyone's like, hey, I gotta get that Stingray. I'm gonna get the Stingray, the, the Black Stingray, the Black Stingray. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Black Stingray. I mean, I already got it. It's just I'm reviewing it right now. Um, the switch is a little bit different, a little bit better, um, and that's the clone as well. It smells very coppery. Um, <clears throat> I'm waiting for this to patina, so this become that very pretty patina color. It is already starting to change colors a little from the normal. This is the kick ring. Hopefully, I get this to patina, but I will not be using this just because that switch is a little bit, a little bit awkward. But of course, as I constantly use a mod, I will get more used to that kind of switch. So if you're in the market for a Stingray and it's going to be your only mechanical mod, a little bit of polishing will fix it right up, um, as right now goes. And you're you're not going to be undercut. Definitely, this thing performs. This thing is a freaking choo choo train kicker asser. Um, it will kick as hard as you want it to kick, pretty much as far as neck mods go. Um, a few there don't really work well, so it's just a bolt, or, in my opinion, still the king, even after the replacement pins, I still get <coughs> a 0.5 voltage drop, <coughs> which is a little high, because I did pay 300 out the door for that. But this thing, right, man, it does kick, it kicks hard, let me see here. Usually when I do like beast vape kind of like this, I'm not going to say this is beast vaping because I have a 0.15 ohm coil up there on my Hades mod. That's beast vaping, but this thing still really dries up the throat. So I'm going to hop you back with a drink. I'm back with a drink. So. Oh, that's good. I just got a chunk of ice in there. Oh, wow, there's chunks of ice in here. Fantastic. So, <clears throat> again, make sure you guys stay hydrated when you vape. One of the side effects of vaping PG is dry mouth. Freaking fantastic vape, though.
So, will I recommend this? I'm on the fence about it. Um, yes and no. Yes, because it freaking functions so well as far as the um, <coughs> voltage drop goes. But no, because that switch. Um, although, this is a clone, so the original probably will hit a lot better. It will be a lot more functional, I would assume. Um, I could go ahead and fix up that switch by just um, replacing that center pin. Probably with the Nemesis pin, and it'll work just fine. Uh, I was going to try that out. But, uh, as far as right now goes, this is, is a little bit wobbly. I'm not sure if you can see that. And if I do press it on one side, it does not fire. I have to go towards the middle for it to fire. Um, if you saw right there, I did press it down the middle. But it did not fire, it like fires in this fire, and then I had to press it directly in the middle and kind of, there we go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of finicky, um, especially the clones are, so that, that way I can't 100% recommend this. If I had to rate it out of 100, I'll get a 90. The only reason I get 90 is because of that bottom switch. That's the only reason. Um, if they did fix that, it would be so much better. Um, I give the Nemesis 100. Okay, and that's kind of my staple for checking out mods. Um, <coughs> it has to perform on par with the Nemesis or better. And then I will go ahead and, um, as far as the voltage drop goes, we'll get 100. Uh, functionality, everything has to be fluid, right? Every time you press it, it does have to fire. It can't be finicky like this. Although it does, it does work very well. So, um... Do I recommend it? Like, I'm, good. I'm on the fence about it. Um, am I going to, like, say it's a bad mod? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a great mod. Um, this, this is one of those mods where um, if someone has it and they really take care of it, it'll be fine. You know, keep that switch clean, polish it out, um, and just really work with it while you vape it. Kind of press down harder on the switch when you're vaping, you won't have a problem with it. But if you want a worry-free mod, something that that you don't have to worry about the switch being wobbly or anything like that, um, Nemesis is still my go-to mod. Um, it always has been, so I have three of them. Um, <coughs> the Chews, man, the Chew mods are freaking awesome. They're awesome. It's just I don't like the top adjustment caps on them. I don't like how you have to adjust that way where you have to adjust the top to get the battery rattle done and over with, but definitely a um, great mod. This My Sentinel mod is kind of out of commission. <clears throat> I gave it to my brother and then he tied on the atomizer too tight and it ended up stripping the threads, so I went and ordered another top cap for that. Not a big deal. Um, what mod am I using right now? It's the Panzer. This Panzer mod has the most flawless switch. You're going to see a review on it probably right after this. I'm um, still going to use it a little bit more, but um, great switch. It's such an effortless switch. Literally, I just barely touch it. And it just works. It just works. When I My first impression on the Panzer was negative, but after using it for a day, holy crap, I'm really liking it. So I'm going to use it for a little bit before I put up a review on it. The, um, the Stingray, if you like how it looks and you want a really hard-hitting mod, go ahead. Spend your money, get it, really. But if you already have a mod that works very well and you want something that works better, um, you might want to stay away from at least this clone. Um, I know that Infinite makes a clone of the Stingray, and I heard that was very good. Um, then maybe you might be looking into that one. But this copper one, that kind of looks like this. <clears throat> just everything's good about it. It's just that switch. And now this will be on the, um, the sidelines for now. For now. But... Um, like I said, if you want it, get it. This is one of those things where I'm not going to 100% recommend, but I'm not going to say it's not good. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, you know the whole spiel. Have a good one.